So we're here today at Float Valley with Jameson. I'm Nadim, I'm the owner of Float Valley, and we're going to answer a couple of your questions about the Lucia Light. What does the Lucia Light do to your brain? Well, it's stimulating the midbrain, it goes through the frontal lobe. Uh, so there's a lot that's going on in the frontal lobe that we haven't really figured out yet. To be honest, there isn't a lot that we figured out in terms of what's happening in the brain specifically, but we do know that it's hitting the midbrain, specifically the pineal and pituitary glands. Um, and it's stimulating it because those parts of our brain are actually light sensitive. Um, I haven't done a ton of research into it myself, but apparently the, the third eye, the pineal gland, was actually anatomically functional as an eye at some point. So it has some access to the optic nerve and is of course light sensitive. Um, we know that the pineal gland in the absence of light produces melatonin in the brain. So we don't know, you know, if the pineal gland produces any other chemicals um, that would be adding to the hallucinatory effects of the light, but uh, that's certainly a possibility. Cool. So how does it feel to be under the Lucia light? What's the experience like? Well, for me, it's, it's varied, you know. Uh, I have different types of experiences on different days, and it has a lot to do with how I feel. But some of the best ones I find are the ones where I kind of come out of my body a little bit, where I'm sort of floating into almost like a, another realm, in a way. Uh, I've experienced similar states in, in deep transcendental meditation and, uh, and psychedelics as well, where you feel like you are in another dimension, you know, uh, visually, of course, the light is very visual. That's almost always there, every single session. Um, but some of the times I feel like I'm, I'm actually taking on a journey. I'm going through events, places, meeting people, things, and there is also a very embodied feeling behind that. Again, it's very engaging to the nervous system, so the sense of motion is, is there, and I find that those ones are, are quite captivating. It's pretty cool. interesting. So you feel like you're moving. Like you're moving, yeah. Okay. yeah. Awesome. Kind of like a float a little bit, right? Like, yes. Except it lets you to drop in a lot quicker, I find. How would you say it changes someone's state of consciousness? Well, it downregulates the, uh, the central nervous system. So typically what's happening there is uh, your consciousness becomes more alive, awake, and receptive to states of awe and mysticism. So it, in a way, opens up your vibration or realm of experience into a state of consciousness that's typically more expansive. So what can the Lucia light do to help people with their health and what are some of the benefits? The general premise to the Lucia light is that it downregulates the central nervous system into that parasympathetic state. And I think that the health benefit there is that it just sort of unlocks your body's natural ability to start addressing health concerns in the body. What we've seen reported from a lot of folks that use the light uh, is Great, great benefit to sleep. It helps regulate sleep cycles, helps with better sleep. Uh, definitely general anxiety is, is another one that, that it can be very helpful for as well. And generally elevating mood. Elevating mood, yeah. And with the flow tank, if you were to use them in conjunction, like how would you find that would be beneficial? Well, for me personally, and many others who have tried it out, mm -hmm. it's great to do a light session and then float because it greatly reduces your, um, your settle time in the tank. Again, it's bringing down the anxiety from your, your, your mental chatter, mm -hmm. which as you know from floating can take some time in the tank itself. So sure. it's a great complimentary service that way. Uh, a great way to look at the light is it's like a mute button for your brain. You know, it just like kind of mutes that, that chatter a little bit for you. So how can people's experiences differ under the Lucia light? Well, it's actually really easy. The, the Lucia light experience is different pretty much every single time you use it, even on an individual level. Okay. Uh, the visuals typically are different from time to time, and that's as a result of the experience being a co-creation, right? Uh, when a frequency hits the brain and the neurons in the brain, your brain is firing at a specific frequency, so the exit frequency or the result is going to be different based on your brain state. And your brain is different at all times during the day. So it's, it's actually quite, uh, quite an individualized experience from, from session to session. I find also that changing the music box as well with the mood and vibe of the session. Okay. What are some of the lasting effects of the Lucia Light? Uh, dropping into a deep meditative state and being able to do so on your own, as well as sleep, for sure. Better sleep, 100%, lasts for a while. 
deeper, better. Sometimes people report um, more access to their dreams. Oh, access to dreams, cool. Like lucid dreaming, I think. Okay. Yeah, lucid dreaming and that sort of thing. Yeah. So how did you get into the loose show it? Well, interestingly enough, floating. Floating was the okay. was floating. I call actually my uh, my gateway drug into meditation in general. I wanted to open a float center, and I went out to Portland to a float conference to learn how to do that. Um, on that journey, one of the vendors there was the Lucia Light. I, uh, I went under it for the first time, and I thought to myself, wow, this is such an amazing, powerful experience. Um, but I, I just didn't really, I didn't really understand how, how deep it was until I came back the next day. And then I saw it from the outside, and I saw it just, just the flashing light, and it was just white flashing light. And I thought to myself, for sure these people were giving me my own personal like rave experience. And so I watched it for about an hour, and then I finally spoke to the people uh, at the booth, and they said, no, that was a, that was a complete hallucination. Like, um, the frequencies flash at a specific rate, and then you output um, this, this wonderful hallucination. So that's when it really got me. I came back home from the float conference, decided not to open a float center, uh, and a few years later I bought the light, and yeah, the rest is history.